Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Boring Land. Oh, Come just on. kidding. Blasphemer. Oh, Hello, my. Boring Review Nation. Kind of pointless. We know all things. What up? Boring Reviews here. Jody. Nick. And today we are reacting to a requested video, The Armstrong and Miller Show, World War II Pilots 1. Who requested this, Nick? So we got this request from an old fogies fun. <laughs> I like that name. And he said, I think you would both enjoy reacting to Armstrong and Miller fighter pilots. A few short clips put together in a compilation video um, or so in length. We're reacting to the first part of that. Set in World War II, but they're mainly using the more modern day youth slang culture when talking on them. Brilliant comedy. So thank you so much for the request. The video I found is not as long as you're saying, so it is part one. Um, let us know if you want us to react to part two. If you do, please comment below and get those requests in. But we're always down for some comedy. And this is one that I've not heard of before and do nothing about it. I've heard of fighter pilots before, but not Armstrong and Miller. So we're going to give it a try. If you like our reaction whatsoever, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're aware of our next uploaded videos. Absolutely. Did you, did you see that bell up there? It took me a while, but I found it. Glad you were able to find it. Doesn't look like Taco Bell, just saying. All right. And, and Han Solo, don't even think about any trolling today. Here we schmo. This is the BBC. We interrupt the light program for a news flash. Whitehall has confirmed that the Nazi invasion of Greece has been successful and that a full-scale evacuation of Allied ground troops, aircraft and aircrew has taken place. In a statement, Mr. Churchill said that although the days ahead... Turn that off. I bought some really nice trousers in Camden. Yeah? <laughs> These were hardcore with all pockets and shit. <laughs> You're going to wear them in the plane when you're doing fighting and this and that? You know what? What, blood? I isn't allowed. <laughs> no way. For sure. They ain't uniform or something. And I can only wear uniform. This is me. They is awesome trousers, man. This is them. <laughs> You've got to wear uniform. That's so unfair. That's like massively disrespecting of your trousers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. At my school, right? At my school, we had a non-uniform day. And if you brought in two bob, you'd wear your own clothes. And that was a well strict school, man. <laughs> Winchester. <laughs> they should let us do that here, right? Because they're like restricting me as a person. They're removing my no. rights. We're supposed to be fighting for freedom and they're taking away my trousers. <laughs> you just want to be you, isn't it? Isn't it, though? Isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> I'm always myself and I don't care what anyone says because this is me, I'm myself, and I'm always me, yeah, and that's what I am. That's so true because some people just aren't themselves, are they? They're like someone else or something and they're not them. I like it when we talk about the deep stuff. <laughs> anyway, I'd better catch you later. I've got to go and talk to the group captain. Why? Something about me painting my Spitfire yellow. He says I'm not allowed. Harsh. Oh, that is so today. Oh, my gosh. Yes, it's our student. Jumbo Wilkins got shot down last week, and it was, like, really bad because he died and everything. You know what? What? I was right next to him when it happened. You're shitting me? I'm, like, here. <laughs> He's, like, just over there. He goes up in flames, yeah, loses control of all, like, the plane in there. And as he's going down, plunging right down, he clips my wing, and I almost lose control of my plane. No. And then he cries out. I hear him, and he's going, I don't want to die. That is so random. You must be very traumatized. Do you know what I mean? So I goes into the group commander, yeah, the next day, and I says, look, I saw this geezer die, yeah, and I almost died myself, so I, like, want some compensation. You should get it, though. You should get compensation for that. That's, like, a really bad thing to happen. But he goes, no way, blood. <laughs> F off. It's really disrespectful. So then this is me to him, OK? I ain't going up <laughs> yeah. my plane no more if you don't give me compensation, yeah? Like, he can do his own war. It's nothing to do with me. Because, like, it's him that wants you to do it. So then he goes, if you don't go up on your plane anymore, I'm going to punch you and shit and kick you and this, that, and everything else, yeah? But this is me back to him, okay? If you touch me right, that's actually assault. That is assault. If they touch you, they're not allowed to do that. You can sue them. I know. So them. then he says to me, he's going to, like, court-martial me or something as a coward and stuff. And when I'm found guilty, then I'm going to be taken out and shot by a firing squad. Now that is assault. Yes, you can claim for that. <laughs> <laughs> that is so society. I can't tell if they're dubbing over an actual program or this is all part of the joke. 
So how did the dog fight with Jerry go, Biffy? Well, it was all this shooting here, with guns and that. And I was like, ugh, like really freaked out. It really did my head in. That's like so not what you want in your life right now. Do you know what I mean? This is him, like, bang, yeah. <laughs> what you want this is me, right like, now. bang, bang, yeah. And then he's all like, rat a tat 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 And I'm like, talk to the gun, because the cockpit ain't listening. <laughs> <laughs> you must be stressed out big time. Do you know what I mean? And they're all like totally disrespecting us and like these really bad racists, innit? Hey, check this. We now go check to Downing Street for an address from Mr. Churchill, <laughs> the Prime Minister. We shall give them licks on the beaches. Yeah. And like the landing grounds and that. And like film it on our mobiles, big time. You know what I mean? All the ladies say yeah. Uh, <laughs> For real? Is it? Go in it. Go in it. Okay, so they're not dubbing over something. <laughs> that dance. Maybe, I don't know, I can't tell. Welcome to Germany, gentlemen. He looks funny, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it? Like at a film or something. He's German, like that guy we're fighting, Hitler or whatever. He's German as well or something. <laughs> Your first time in this country? True. I went to Boulogne on a school trip in the fifth year. Got all flick knives and shit and porn mags and whatever. <laughs> Mrs. Daniels searched my bag and I was excluded for ten days. No way, ten days? That's actually like abuse. You know what I mean. <laughs> Mrs. Daniels was a right munter. Boulogne is in France, not Germany. Whatever. I was away when we did geography. My nan died. <laughs> Cigarettes, gentlemen? No, duh. Not like disgusting so and really bad for you. Can you actually put that out because I'm like breathing in your smoke and stuff and that's against my human rights? It's like a sort of murder. <laughs> when you were shot down, you were on a reconnaissance mission over the suburbs of Munich. What were you looking for? You know, places to bomb and stuff, like factories or some shit like that. <laughs> so I shouldn't actually have been in the plane. I only came along because I'm going out with his sister. <laughs> She's well up for it. <laughs> Boy, that's my sister, man. I know, but she is well up for it, though. <laughs> no. No, she is well up for it. She's slack. Mm. She's slack. Oh the my gosh. The mission is planned for the Munich suburbs. <laughs> Tell me more. No way, you're not my dad. We <laughs> <laughs> hear that. And will use force if necessary to extract Love information it. from you. You actually can't because that's against the Geneva Convention and shit. You can get like taken to court and fined or something. <laughs> I'm legally in the telephone call. That's actually my rights. Do not talk to me about your rights. You have no rights in this room. Uh, actually, they do. <laughs> That's right for that. It's like the law and shit. <laughs> We did it as a module at Berlin Unit, and I didn't believe the lecture at first. And this is me to the geezer, are you sure, mate? And he's all like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Silence! <laughs> well, he needs to take a chill pill. You know what I mean? Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Stand up. <laughs> you can imagine that guy's frustrated. This is not how it's supposed to go. <laughs> Will you guys shut up? <laughs> Yeah, she sings up some good shit, isn't it? She's safe. Isn't it that she is well fit? Do you know what I'm saying? She is buff. Totally. She's got it going on. Not like Gracie Fields. She mings bad. She's nasty. You know what I mean? Chatting shit about living up an alley or something? She so needs to get over herself. Big time. <laughs> Big time. Jerry over the south out. Scramble. Scramble, chaps. No way, blood. I've done flying today. Yep. This morning, and I nearly missed lunch. We've both done flying. I did flying yesterday, twice. And that's against health and safety or some shit like that. Yep. No, it isn't. And I've got a Veruca. I've got to do revision for my flying exams. It's like a written theory test and everything. Enemy bombers are on the way. For God's sake, get up there and fight them, you cowards. You can't actually say that, because that's like racism, but against cowards. <laughs> <laughs> That's like discrimination against a community. If you don't get up there and fight, I'm going to report you to the wing commander who will. I would still do Gracie Fields, though, if she offered. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> this is Wing Girl Red Squadron. Jerry is closing in. Repeat, closing in fast. Yeah? We need immediate cover. Immediate cover. You know what I'm saying? Please listen. My coordinates are... Wait, I've got another call, yeah? No. Are you on hold, all right? No. No. All right, yeah, hi, Tyler. You all right? 
Yeah, I'm just up in the plane and shit. <laughs> yeah, what? You what? She never. She never. She never. <laughs> really? She never. <laughs> so when we meeting? Seven? About seven? Yeah, yeah. So what? We'll meet up about seven? Yeah, no, I'm just up in the plane and that. So I'll see you by seven then, yeah? All right. Oh, Laters. Laters. Is that what he said? What you saying? Oh, gosh. Hello? Yeah, they did. He did. Hello? He blanked me, man. <laughs> I don't think you did. <laughs> okay, that was just downright hilarious. That was funny. I was trying to figure out like the same thing. I think what it is, <laughs> I think they recorded I just think at certain moments, um, their voices were just slightly off, like with the recording. But I feel like that sometimes happens with our stuff, even when we upload it. Like the voice is just like, yeah, I was wondering about that too. Off, I think or if it's it. on purpose that way for whatever, for the this. Let us know. I, I think. All this is produced for this uh, Armstrong and Miller show. But let us know if for some reason it's like a bad lip reading or something like that as well on this. Um, but let's pretend that this is all part of the production. It was on purpose and everything. And this is what it was supposed to be. I love how they made it look like it was, you know, olden times. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, not just the black and white, but like the attire. Like they went, you know, spared no expense for that little room right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but like the lingo they're using... It's just a, such a hilarious thing to do. Kind of like the bad lip reading is really hilarious yeah. when you see like the real people talking like that. <laughs> but the fact that it's so true to today's society and it's so mm -hmm. sickening. Mm -hmm. uh, I already worked today. I need to go back up there. <laughs> what was this guy thinking? <laughs> You're a coward. Oh, that's a racist against yes. cowards in that. <laughs> the fact that you can't get one actual statement. Everything's passive. Oh, that's messed up and stuff. Like, oh, I think. Yeah. <laughs> It's just, I did not think I was going to laugh and enjoy that as much as I did. But these guys are gold. And the one guy on the right side with the mustache, he's, you know, mm -hmm, like most mm -hmm. of us, kind of the balding guy. He looks so much like a guy that would not have that kind of yeah. sense of humor. So it makes it even more funny. Yep. And he's gold for crying out loud. Yep. He's like, she never, <laughs> she never. Hey, you blanked me. <laughs> Laters. Laters. Uh, I totally felt like I was sitting and listening to my students. Because they do that, and they oh, repeat man. over and over and over the same word or phrase, and you're like, I'm sorry, like, I'm not understanding this conversation. Why are you both repeating? Communication's gone down the tube. Seriously. But no, that was so, so true. With the lack of wanting to do things, with the, like, Not everything. taking responsibility yes, for anything. That was pretty harsh. Yes, like, turning around yeah. on the person that has to deal out the punishment? Yep. I was just going to say, oh everything is, like, an offense <laughs> oh or an gosh. insult. Or the suing, like the compensation. You can so sue. Like, I almost got hit. Like <laughs> compensation. Like I almost died. And the it's other like guy. Execution. Oh, that's definitely abuse. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we have rights. Like. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, they do. <laughs> <laughs> and you got the guy who's just being the villain. You shut up, or I'm gonna kill. Will you guys be quiet? I'm trying to be scary here, and they like, could not be bothered anymore. Oh my goodness, it was awesome. It, it was, was fantastic. Awesome. Thank you for the request. Let us know if you want us to do the second part. Um, I see that there's three parts. Yeah, this one, it took us right to the third one. So let us yeah. know if you want to do us to the next one. We would love to react to that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time. Goodbye.